Volcanic Threat 25 How a Yellowstone Supervolcano Eruption Could Affect the Entire World The supervolcano might not be on the list of strange things found in Yellowstone National Park, but the sleeping giant could be a reason for concern. Nature's very own doomsday device, a supervolcano with enough explosive potential to make ordinary volcanoes look like science fair projects. A Yellowstone supervolcano eruption wouldn't just ruin vacation plans, it would send shockwaves, quite literally, across the globe, transforming landscapes, weather patterns, and possibly the course of human civilization. It would speed up the clock for animals that could soon become extinct, leading to one of our lifetime's most significant climate impacts. The good news. This geological time bomb isn't exactly on a hair trigger. Scientists monitoring Yellowstone's fiery underbelly consistently report that an eruption remains highly unlikely in anyone's lifetime. Still, exploring the what-ifs offers a fascinating glimpse into the Earth's raw power. But what would the actual impact be on people? Maybe it's time to take a closer look at what would happen if Yellowstone's supervolcano were to explode. Forget about the best beach towns on the Gulf Coast after a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption. Swimsuits will be swapped for parkas across the globe. When volcanoes throw tantrums, they don't just spew lava, they launch an atmospheric assault. Yellowstone would blast millions of tons of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere, creating a planet-wide sunscreen that nobody ordered. This minor weather hiccup like when smaller volcanoes erupt. The sky for years, dropping global temperatures by an unknown amount. Frost in July will become the new normal across North America and Europe. Farmers worldwide would watch in horror as growing seasons shrank or disappeared entirely. Grocery store shelves would gradually empty as crop failures cascaded across continents. When people think of volcanic eruptions, lava usually steals the spotlight. But with a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption, ash would be the true star of this apocalyptic show. Picture the aftermath of a fireplace that hasn't been cleaned in 640,000 years and suddenly decided to blow its top. The eruption would launch an estimated 240 cubic miles of pulverized rock, dust, and volcanic glass into the atmosphere, enough to bury Texas knee-deep. even areas a thousand miles away could see inches of accumulation. This wouldn't be the harmless dust that collects on bookshelves. Volcanic ash is essentially tiny shards of glass and rock that destroy engines, collapse roofs, contaminate water supplies, and cause serious respiratory problems. The most scenic mountain ranges in the U.S. would cease to be as scenic, covered in a deep pallor of ash. center of a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption would redefine the concept of extreme makeover. Yellowstone's current caldera, the National Park volcano, and the peaceful depression spanning 34 by 50 miles that draws millions of visitors yearly would effectively cease to exist. The blast would begin with a swarm of increasingly powerful earthquakes as magma forced its way upward. Then, like popping the world's largest champagne cork, the land would rupture in a titanic explosion heard thousands of miles away. Pyroclastic flows, superheated currents of gas and volcanic matter moving at highway speeds, would obliterate everything within a 60-mile radius. These flows aren't just hot. They reach temperatures exceeding 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit, instantly vaporizing anything organic. The iconic geysers, prismatic pools, and wandering bison that define Yellowstone would vanish instantly. After a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption, those delayed flight notifications would take on a new meaning. Flight canceled due to apocalypse. 
the aviation industry worldwide would effectively shut down as fine ash particles spread through the atmosphere. Modern jet engines and volcanic ash mix about as well as oil and water, except with more explosions and mid-air engine failures.